Hi again. We are going to do another installation of teaching you how to take care of your tarantulas. First off, we need a bedding. Uh, this is the substrate. Um, comes in a brick. This is a great thing. It's called coconut fiber. These were actually both gotten at PetSmart. It's two different brands. Um, it's just kind of a dried dirt in a brick. Um, so you just follow the instructions, but basically you take them apart and lay the brick somewhere. Here I have a terrarium. This is one of the terrariums that is actually I'm rehousing. Um, one of our little spiders there. And I'm going to use two because I need um, I need a lot of substrate because I'm going to be rehousing a lot of animals. And it requires about one gallon per brick. So I have about two gallons here. And that usually takes about a half hour or so and you just let them soak. So we'll come back in just a little bit. Here are some tools you'll need for um, handling your spiders in general, setting up their cages and whatnot. Um, I use these things almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, water um, for filling them up. And um, needle nose pliers, I use those to cut um, to cut things. It's got a, a you know a metal cutter on it. And um, the uh, tweezers, they come in several different sizes. You can get them at the hardware store for a lot cheaper than you get them at pet stores. They come in like a small, this is a medium, and also a large. Um, I generally just use this one uh, for multi-purpose. Clear tape is helpful, and it's always nice to have paper towels handy, just in case. Oh. Okay, so today we're going to rehouse um, this little girl here. What we're going to do is take her out of her um, environment now and put her in a little cup. And what we do is we just put our hand down and gently coax her onto our hand. She's generally a very slow moving tarantula. Come on, sweetie. Um, a lot of them won't actually let you pick them up like that. As long as you're really gentle, it's okay. They generally don't really like it. She just wasn't moving real fast, so I wanted to get her going. So we're just going to keep her in here temporarily. We'll put that off to the side and we'll get her cage all ready. Very important. When you're using soap, make sure you rinse it out really, really good so there's no residue of soap at all. Okay, so here we are about a half an hour later. I'm not sure I wasn't keeping track. We can see though there's a little bit of a difference in um, the coconut fibers. I, I'm not sure which one was which now, but this one's like a lot bigger. And this one doesn't even look like it's quite done yet, so I would probably soak that one even longer. But this one actually is um, pretty done, so we're going to use this. So I'm just going to take kind of a block of it here. And we can decide if this is enough, too much, or what. Um, this particular species likes it moist. Uh, if you have a dry, um, a, a species that likes it dry, then you want to make sure the substrate dries out all the way. But this is real nice and moist. This is actually a good, good amount. I'm just crumbling up the big uh, chunks in here just to make it a nice soft dirt. It's a messy job. All right, so we have some nice substrate there for them. And we're going to give them a little dish. Um, these are the, some of the best store-bought one, store ones, the ceramic ones. They hold water. Um, if you look back, the one that I had it in, um, it was kind of a, a clay one. Those actually don't hold water hardly at all. So I'm switching this out to one of the, the ceramic ones. Put that in there. And then I'm just going to make a little pit. They'll do what they want to do and they'll they'll burrow and stuff. But I like to kind of get it in there. Now, if you um, this one is actually a display one, so if you want, you can buy this stuff at the pet store, and it's usually just kind of all wrapped up. But it's basically a big vine 
of, um, of leaves and stuff. So I take just little wire cutters on my needle nose pliers, cut a little piece off like that, and um, we can just make a little, little spot right here where it's just kind of drapes over and it looks pretty. So it just adds a little bit of color. Um, also, some of the spiders like to move this stuff around or web over it and, um, and make it their little home. Let's see how he likes it. All right, buddy. Back into your home. We'll just gently coax him out here. There you go. I'm also very cheap, so to use um, things that you find around the house to be creative for holding water, I use um, the bottoms of uh, water bottles. And for the smaller animals, the really small ones, I use the tops of water bottles. Another thing you can use to decorate your cage up really nice is something like this. Um, this is just aquarium gravel. It's the larger aquarium gravel. And um, it looks pretty. Um, also, you know, I've used it actually in um, my T. Blondie's cage to keep in moisture. I had a layer of um, dirt and then a layer of rocks and then a layer of dirt and it seems to hold in the moisture better. So that's a good idea too. Okay, on housing um, some of the arboreal tarantulas, the ones that live in trees, we are using just a regular critter keeper like we see here. Um, it's just turned on end. So. Um, what we've done is put um, just some regular clear tape and um, it's not sticking on the other side because you put you know two pieces and then tape it all the way across and this keeps the moisture in, um, it keeps the water from pouring out and also of course the substrate from coming out. Um, and then also another thing I found handy for my Avicular Versicolor, um, it tended to dry out and not be real happy when it was dry. So I used this cling wrap. And um, there's so much, so much ventilation here that the moisture was just um, being taken out. But the Versicolor, especially for me, he loves the, it to be very, very, very moist. So I've put the cling wrap on here and cut little holes so he can breathe. There's, you know, he's fine. Um, but it's a press and seal, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. This has been on here for a long time. So that and... Um, I've already put the substrate in this one and I'm going to give him a little climbing thing here. Put that down in there. Alright, so home sweet home for him. Or, sh or her. She's going to be really happy about this. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to put her back in. And this is my um, Avicularia metallica. You may remember her from my other videos. I'm sure she's happy to have a brand new home. Well, thanks for watching the short tu tutorial on um, housing and what kinds of things to put in your enclosures for your tarantulas. And um, next time we will do a little handling demonstration. So, thanks for joining us. Bye.